And Boss's death comes on the heels of new CDC data showing suicide rates have risen for black and Hispanic men between 2000 and 2020. ABC News medical contributor Dr. Darian Sutton joins me live now to talk more about this. And we should note that this topic can be triggering for some. Dr. Sutton, thank you for coming on. What does this data released last month tell you? Uh, there's some concerning numbers, Diane. Uh, one of the reasons that we're seeing, or one of the things that we're seeing that's very <laughs> concerning is that the rates of death by suicide among black men and other men of color has significantly increased, although the rate of diagnosis of mental health disease is statistically lower comparative to other groups. And I think the reasons behind this are simply a lack of diagnosis or an underdiagnosis, and reasons why we need to put more action and activity into helping others get the mental health treatment that they need. Is there any sense of what's contributing to this and what's contributing to the, the difference and the changes that we're seeing here? You know, while each and every personal case is different and nuanced, there are some factors that are shared within the community of color. For example, the lack of access to care, uh, the social stressors and effects of systemics and structural racism, uh, the lack of cultural competence and diversity within healthcare, and then most importantly, the stigma that comes with the diagnosis of a mental health disease. It can sometimes be life altering and it can affect people negatively in terms of their professional and personal life. So what happens when something like this happens to a public figure? You know, in the past decade, a number of well-known black men reportedly died by suicide. So what kind of an impact does that have then on the communities that look up to them? I think first and foremost, awareness and understanding, as Matt said, some, sometimes you just simply never know. Uh, and it's more reason why we need to reach out to others around us and ask that they need help. Uh, Diane, there's often this, this common idea that if you ask someone if they have a sense of self-harm or thoughts of self-harm, that you might push them over the edge. Over the edge. But uh, studies and research have shown that simply asking someone these important questions has been shown to significantly decrease the risk of death by suicide. So it's important to ask. You never know if you, unless you do that. And Dr. Sutton, this is always so hard for the loved ones left behind. You know, sometimes people talk about warning signs in retrospect. Other times, family members say they had no idea their loved one was struggling. And in this case, we have no idea what was going on behind closed doors. But there he was dancing on Instagram, smiling just like we remembered him just the day before this happened. So if you, if you, you know, have a loved one that maybe you're concerned for, maybe even not, you know, are there warning signs that you can look out for? And what do you do? if you see them and you suspect something might be wrong. Well, sometimes there's simply no way to predict this, but there are well-documented factors that can contribute to this. For example, significant life changes or significant social stressors, um, uh, depression, of course, social isolation, substance use. Uh, these are specific signs that we know to be a strong contributor to death by suicide. So if you notice any of these signs or symptoms, of course, first and foremost, ask, uh, seek out help uh, from the primary care help, at least from a screening. Uh, of course, dial 988 if you feel like you have any uh, concern for self-harm or suspect that someone might have those feelings. And then the emergency room. Uh, as an emergency physician, people don't realize I take care of medical emergencies, but also psychiatric emergencies falls in my clinical purview. And it's a completely normal reason to bring someone into the ER for. All right. Great advice. Dr. Darian Sutton, we appreciate it as always. Thank you. Thank you. And as Dr. Sutton mentioned, if you are struggling with mental health issues, including thoughts of suicide, substance use, or emotional distress, do text or dial 988. Free help is available 24-7. And as Dr. Sutton said, you can always just go to the emergency room. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.